Hey guys, it's Shelly. Um, today I am making my one week post op lab fan video. It, um, it's officially been one whole week. I had my surgery last Thursday, December 27th. Um, it doesn't feel like it's been a week, so I guess that's good. Um, I'm feeling really great and I'll get down to business. Um, my day of surgery weight was 267.9. And today, I, well, I just weighed myself like a minute ago, and I was at 260 even. So this week, I lost 7.9 pounds, which, you know, that's really exciting um, and sort of unbelievable. <laughs> like, since uh, my pre-op, the day I started my pre-op diet, I was at 283.2, I believe. So I've lost 23 pounds, which is... Um, I'm I'm just over the moon about that. Um, I can give you a little bit of information about how I've been eating this week. Um, and I'm going to start with day four because day three I made a video and I talked about what I had been eating. So I'm going to start with day four, which was New Year's Eve. Um, I had 11 ounces of protein shake, 16 ounces of milk, 35 ounces of water, 6 ounces of Greek yogurt, and that day I went back to sleeping on my stomach. Um, I can't say that it didn't hurt me at all. It definitely was like a little uncomfortable um, around my pore incision and then also I have an incision up here that was really um, painful. Um, it was worth it though because I'll tell you, you know, obviously I've had gas pain. Obviously I've had pain in my incisions. Um, but the worst pain that I've had this whole time, I think, has come from not being able to sleep on my stomach. Right here, in the center of my, well, more like off to my um, my right shoulder, in, the, in my back, I had the worst pain ever. And as soon as I started back to sleeping on my stomach, it went completely away. So, um, I had to go back to sleeping on my I couldn't wait a week and a half. I couldn't wait, you know, any longer. And since I could bear it, um, I went ahead and did it. No one ever told me I shouldn't, so I guess I don't know why I thought, like, oh, no, I shouldn't do that. Um, but So that's uh, New Year's Eve. I also went out um, with my friends that night. I um, made a big mistake, and I, I found myself, like, not even thinking about it. I drank out of a straw um, when we were out at a restaurant. Um, my friends, they went out, and, like, I met them there, like, an hour later. So, like, they were, like, just done eating, and um, my fiancé had, like, some drinks, and I just had some water, and... You know, first thing I do when I sit down at the restaurant, um, the guy brings me water, I open my straw and put it in the thing and I start drinking. Like 30 minutes later I had so much gas. It, it was, wasn't was really that painful but it was like really uncomfortable. Um, so that was a big no-no and it's like, I guess it's just proof of things that I automatically do that um, I'm going to have to, you know, really change and um, I'm sure I'll make more mistakes like that in the future. But um, day five, I was able to drink 11 ounces of protein shake, um, 8 ounces of milk, six, 6 ounces of Greek yogurt, 10 ounces of water, and I walked for two miles. Um, my mom lives like about a mile away from my house, and um, she had been keeping my dog for me um, since I had my surgery because I was just really afraid that he might jump up on me and like hit my stomach and um, cause me some pain. So he stayed over there for, I guess, like four days. Um, so I decided, well, that, you know, I was going to go walk over there. Um, my fiance and I, we walked over there to pick him up. We So it's like a mile there and a mile back. So we walked over there. Um, and we stayed there maybe like 30 minutes. Like we didn't do two miles straight. So I walked there a mile and then I walked a mile back. And I felt really great. But like an hour later, I passed out. Like I was so exhausted. And, you know, obviously I'm not eating... 1500 calories right now because I'm only on my liquids I, I'd say maybe I'm getting like 400 to you know 500 which isn't you know that's not all of the servings that I'm supposed to be eating but you know that's all I've been able to do um so since today is like the start of my second week I have pledged to myself that like I don't care what, no matter what it takes like I'm going to drink all five servings of my protein and two servings of water that I need to. Like, I'm going to eat everything that I'm supposed to because I've just been, I don't like feeling tired. It's, I mean, nobody does, but um, I have this whole week off and I've just been, like, sitting around because, 
you know, I mean, I've been walking a little bit around the block, but I can't do anything beyond that because I'm just like so physically exhausted. Um, day six was yesterday. I did pretty good. Um, I had 16 ounces of hot tea, which counts as water, but then I also had 10 ounces of water for my water bottle, 8 ounces of milk, 6 ounces of beef broth, and um, a 6 ounce container of Greek yogurt. Um, it's plain. It's the Faye Greek yogurt that my doctor told me I could um, eat. It has like 18 grams of protein in it, so it's um, you know really high in protein. Um, and But it tastes like crap. Um, okay, I'll rephrase that. It doesn't taste like crap. It tastes like sour cream. Like, just like the straight, plain Greek yogurt tastes like sour cream. I feel, like, disgusting, like, while I'm eating it. Like, it's, um, just not something you're supposed to, <laughs> like, I don't feel like I'm supposed to be sitting there eating, like, a container full of sour cream. Because that's exactly what it tastes like. Um, so what I did last night is I, um, I put some cinnamon in some powdered ginger in it. And I put, like, maybe, like, two tablespoons of milk and I like mixed it up and that was really, oh I also put two packets of Truvia in them. Oh that was like so amazing. It tasted like, tasted like yogurt and I understand like I'm not supposed to be having the yogurt with the fruit in it yet um, because there's like chunks of fruit in it um, but hopefully I'll be able to do that soon. Um, so some of my goals for this year um, are to eat right and to eat food so that like my body can work not so that like my brain is satisfied um I want to exercise five days a week that is my goal I um back in July of 2012 I when we first moved back home and I was you know still thinking that I wasn't going to be able to have a lot band surgery unless I self-paid I I sort of had, you know, a last-ditch effort, like what I called it, to like really do it by myself. And I, you know, I was trying to eat right, and I signed up for a personal trainer, and I was seeing them for like two months, and I had lost 10 pounds. Um, when I started there, my weight was 292, and I lost 10 pounds, and I was, you know, sitting around like 280 to 285. Um, but you know, after a while, like, I just, I got the best of myself, like, it had always happened before in my life, and I stopped going. Well, um, I still paid for the personal trainer, and all the sessions that I have paid for, for, like, the past three months, four months, are still there, and so as soon as I can start exercising again, um, I plan to go, um, at least you know, until I use up all of the ones I've already paid for to go twice a week. Um, I paid for six a month, which before I was doing like once a week, twice a week, once a week, twice a week, so that I could um, use all six. And so I hope to be going to my personal trainer twice a week as soon as my doctor says that I can be cleared to do that. Um, and, you know, the other three days a week, I, I want to be able to go to the gym and... Um, and make it work because um, not only do I want to be healthy but like I'm getting married in 11 months and I really want that to be um, I want it to be great I want to look great at my wedding and you know and the, for the rest of my life after that so um, oh one really great thing that happened this week is this bra that I'm wearing, I used to have an extender on it, and I don't know if anyone else uses these, but I did. And I took it off this week, um, because I didn't need it anymore. It was, like, too big with this on, so that's really great. Um, I haven't really noticed a lot of weight loss, like, when I put my pants on, like, around the equator of my body. Um, but I have noticed a lot, like, in this area... So I think that that's why, like, maybe I've lost some weight up here, and that's why I was able to take this extender off. Um, and that feels really great. Um, who knows what can only happen in the future, I guess. Um, some dumb things that I wrote down. They're not dumb, but some things that I wrote down um, that I hope would happen this year. 
are, let's see. Um, I hope that eventually I'll be able to sit through an entire movie without feeling really uncomfortable in my movie seat because of like how heavy I am, like having to constantly move and putting my legs, like crossing them and uncrossing them. Um, oh, I hope I'll be able to cross my legs. Um, not like have like my leg like propped up on my knee like a man sits. I want to be able to cross my legs and not have to like hold it. Um, let's see. I hope to be able to go to the hair salon and to be able to completely close the robe that I put on when I get my hair done. Something similar to that. Um, I hope when I go get a pedicure at some point this year, the towel, the hot towel that they put over the top of your legs. Um, I hope that it'll cover my whole legs instead of like having to have my side of my legs like peeking out of the towel. Um, I also have a goal and I'm not really sure like how far in the future like it will take me to be able to accomplish this. Um, but I know somebody, um, I know somebody who does CrossFit and I know that they like really love it and like, I've watched things about it, like, I, um, I'm just really inspired by, like, her doing it, and, um, uh, I think, like, the overall, like, message of it, which is, like, being fit for, like, anything that will happen to you in life, like, and they do, like, a lot of, um, switching, of uh, exercises, and, um, just, like, a lot of stuff that is about, like, overall fitness, like, that's something that I would like to be able to do in the future, I, I think that at this point, like, it's probably, like, too high intensity for me to be able to do that, like, but I hope that at some point this year, I'll be able to start doing that. That's, um, a really big goal that I have. Um, and I can't really think of any other goals that I have. I, oh, I was thinking a lot about my goal weight. I have not, you know, set that yet, and... I was looking online and it says that the like maximum for the healthy range of somebody who's the same height as me, which I'm um, I'm five six, is 150 pounds. That's like the high the highest range for like a healthy body weight um, is 150 pounds. I think that I would like for that to be my goal weight. At, you know, at this point, it seems completely outrageous that, sorry, that I would be able to weigh 150 pounds, um, and so I'm kind of scared to set it that low, because I, I don't know what the future will hold, but, um, I think that that is my goal, like, that is my official goal weight, is 150 pounds, um, I would really like to weigh 180 by my wedding, so maybe that's like my first goal, and then uh, my ultimate goal would be to weigh 150 pounds. I'm going to do my body shot for this week. Here is my body shot. Here, let me do this. This is my belly. It's awful. But I want to be able to look back and see all of these things, so I'm going to record them. So here we go. Oh, also I'll show you my incisions. There's the top one. And then, you can't really see it that good. There's these two. And then my one over here, the darkness around there is, um, and then here is my bottom one. The darkness around them, well part of it is bruising, like this one is pretty bruised right here. And when I got in the shower today, um, it started bleeding like a tiny bit. But, um, the darkness around them is the glue that they use to close my incisions. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope that you had a great new year. So, see you later.